know about you, but I love ice cream. And you know who else loved ice cream? George and Martha Washington. We believe the Washingtons were introduced to ice cream by the colonial governor of Virginia, Lord Botetot, who was serving it to his guests at the governor's palace in Williamsburg in 1770. The first reference to the dessert at Mount Vernon dates to May of 1784, when a cream machine for ice was purchased. Washington would continue to purchase various items for iced creams, as they were called, throughout his lifetime. Martha was also known to serve ice cream and lemonade at her weekly levees during her husband's presidency. Well, let's talk about what we need to make ice cream. At its most basic, we need ice, we need cream, salt, and sugar. We also need an ice cream maker, which could have been anything from a pewter bowl to something called a sorbetiere, which is basically a copper tube with a removable lid. So where are we getting these things? For Washington, the ice would have been harvested from the Potomac River and neighboring creeks during the winter and stored in the ice house below the mansion. The cream would have come from his dairy cattle. The cream is the part of the cow's milk with the highest fat content. Sugar would have been imported from the Caribbean and salt would have been imported as well. Today we're making strawberry ice cream. We'll begin by putting our ice cream freezer in our tub of ice with rock salt sprinkled throughout. The ice cream is made by mixing the ingredients together in the freezer, the ice cream maker. Setting the freezer into a tub of ice and salt turning the freezer to chill and harden the soon-to-be ice cream inside. So the next time you pull out several dollar bills to purchase some ice cream, remember that our first president enjoyed this delectable dessert as much as you do.